So I've got this Makita push lawnmower in. Just had to get myself a rag. And um, I'm going to change the blades on it. I've already took the carrier off it. Got to go and get myself some blades. Just make sure you don't lose this keyway. Make sure that keyway doesn't come out of the top of it. And um, we'll just sit that side. Now yeah, we need to put the blades on in the exact way they come off. I um, always take the, the blade carrier off the mower. It just sits back on there like that. Exact right one. Okay. Yep. Mm, it's pretty blunt. Tips of them. Um, the person who had this mower asked me specifically to buy new blades. So if anyone's um, giving me shit about what to take these off not up to me, it's the MO. I could have sharpened them for them, but they want a new one, which, you know, you can understand more. Just to make sure, bloody drop that over old washer, what I had. That was even a bit sloppy at that. But that wash is going to sit on the top. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just put this back on here for a minute. And we want to clean the carrier. This is one of the most important things to do. You just get your tool. Uh, tool. Just get in here. And on this other end, scrape. Scrape that stuff out. And um, just like that. That's it, they're nice and clean. Now we can put the blades on. Now these are a very funny blade, they've got a notch on here. I've never seen a set of blades like this before. It's the first time I've ever seen them. And they, the notch stops from getting all one. back around onto themselves like this. That's the whole idea of that notch what you see on the blade. And it just sits in there. I'm not really worried about that. I'm worried about the um you can't put these on the wrong way or anything. You can only go one way. So what we're gonna do is tension washer wash on the blade first. And then put it through underneath. We've got to get lined up that square hole. Then you drop your washer on. Like that. Then we put our Nilex nut on. It's got a piece of plastic at the end of it that when you tighten it up, it, um, what sort of stuff that's that? This is a 17. Yeah, 17. And I'll just do this up by hand. I could use that impactor, but we don't want to go, um, stripping nothing. Center it so I wash the stuff in the middle. It's a bit of a stupid idea, really, because if it's 
If, it, if this blade ever hits concrete, it can't wrap in. And I'll show you what I mean by if it hits concrete. Why well, I think this is a stupid idea. I'll show you why. You see this, you see how it's got that notch in here, how it goes through here. I'll turn it up so you can see it. Well, that blade, when it hits concrete, that blade can only go to, it can only go this far. If, that, if this was a normal regular blade, this could spin around and wrap up there and it probably wouldn't smash up the shaft. If this hits concrete, this is going to damage the shaft on the mower. I'll guarantee that right now. It will bend this shaft or explode on that keyway, what you see there. The keyway here. Oh shit. I won't even shear that off, it'll probably just mangle all the shaft up. Alright, so to put our next one on. Yeah, tension washing that through it. Like that. Whoops. And um As your mower gets older, this hole, this square hole here, this will wear so bad that this you won't be able to do them up like this. Over time, the way I'm doing it now, by just using it, using my finger to hold it up under the bottom. I've got my finger pressing the bolt up, the bolt can't go back. I'll do it like this. Bolt this back up. Just get your your bolt, and we put this on here. And then you change them. They're general blades too. I'm not a big fan of buying general blades. Just that these are the blades I had with this mower. So what you do is we just bolt back in. Really want to do I don't mind undoing these bolts with the impactor I don't really want to do it up with the impactor though because I've had an experience before and I've had a ride on because I've actually stripped it uh, not stripped it actually broke the bolt off so I'll just rather do it like that turning this over and that you got the, the spark plug and that attached like you know what I mean just be careful safety so it doesn't start all right so what we do is we move this stuff in the way and we've got this tightened 
just cut that wheel off and put crap on it. Just move it. Whoops. Just sit there. Pull the seat back right there. Turn around like that, but we need to have a look in here because I noticed she was telling me, Oh, it wasn't running very good. Well, bloody hell, look at this stuff the stuff that's in here. So, what I'll do is I'll get me rag, we're gonna have to have a look at this filter. And, and look at this stupid idea it's got an overflow of the petrol tank that goes into the air filter. Who would design something that doesn't like that? These people. To bring some strat engine on the key to lawnmower. So how do we get this off? Mm, I think we can see why the lawnmower is not running properly. When she says, "Oh, it's flying up a bit. It's not going too good." Hmm. Well, the doors are clean. All this here. And with this air filter, what we'll do is we'll just bang it. I'm probably going to have to wash this out with gas. It's just absolutely clogged with um, stuff. This is going to need washing out. I'll have to use some greaser on it and um, wash this. I don't have a new one on it. You could just imagine this wouldn't be um, cheap either. It'd be exy. So I want to leave. I'll give it a wash out, all that crap out of it. And um, once I do that, we'll be back. You might wonder how I'm going to clean this air filter out. I've just got a can of degreaser in. What I'll do is I'll spray the degreaser in the air filter, just as you see me doing here. And I'll do it around the whole lot. But I need to go around the pool. In them, we'll see how good it runs. All right, the air field is um, I've washed it out, I've got it the best I can, it's reasonable. So, what we'll do is we'll put that back in the mower. Alright, right. got that. So 
I'm hoping they do it. I need to put the ring so I can fill in. I've got the fuel over here. Uh, the reason why I did take the fuel out of the car is because um, I was going to run out of here. End up, that's not how you feel in a little while. I should have got a bloody funnel out of the shed instead of being lazy. So I'll put some new blades on it. Let's um, try and start it up. Well, I'll see that can down there. set of blades on there and we've got my number two. I'm not that impressed with it. I don't think it um it's like you know the bees knees and well that's for sure. But um yeah that's it. It does an all right job, but it's not like, um, you know, the best there is. But yeah, that's it. I've cleaned the air filter, put some new blades on it, and um, yeah, it started first pop, which it didn't have any problems. And um, that'll be the end of the video. That's how you change the blades on this Makita. And um, for anyone that wants to know, this is a, what is it, a 550X, it's only 140cc. Any small motor. These um, moles like this Makita, as you found out when I bought a set of blades, they're quite expensive. They weren't like you know seven, eight dollars. They um, ripped me off over forty dollars at the hardware shop you buy. When if it was a Victor mower, Victor two stroke mower, it would have been only eight, ten dollars for a set of blades. That'd be max. But yeah, this is what they do with these specialty moles. They um, sell these moles. At hardware shops and that and uh, when you have a problem with it well you 
no need blades and this is how they get you they rip you off so um, that's why you shouldn't buy mowers from these hardware shops that you should just buy a regular mower that takes regular blades because anything like you know specialty blades and that costing you a fortune but um anyway thanks for watching please like and subscribe share your comment and um yeah have a great day